Now we're at the dog beach again, and it's the 10th of uh, July, 2010, and uh, there's been a lot of dogs at this dog beach. <laughs> it's just littered with, uh, I mean, water and footprints here. With all this water came splashing out with the dogs. Dogs uh, splashed all this out around the corner here. Uh, there must have been a horde of dogs that came out of here. Mundog Park, Upper Dublin Township. And my boy and I were just here to kill a little time before I go out there and do some serious exercising. My boy has to get his. When you have a uh, Bulldog and an Amstaff and a Great Dane, they need to go out. They just have to get out in order to stay healthy, just like a human being, and get their dog miles in. My boy's been having a good time. I've been having a real good time going to all the parks in this area uh, during the heat wave that we just had. Uh, the other dogs didn't seem to make it out here. It was just me and Angelo for a few days. So, um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. I went out to get my food order today in uh, Warminster actually, went to the dollar store and we went out to um, the produce junction in Half Row and my friend Gene was along, we were playing guitar and uh, ready to make a professional recording. My friend Gene said he's more of a poet than he is a guitar player and singer. The guitar helps him recite his poetry and I'll agree with him on that. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy to power walk, especially when it gets late in the evening. There's no one hanging around and don't have to wait for traffic. And all this stuff here has probably got sewage in it. Uh, but it's nice to do power walking. Yeah, that's all I like to do for exercise, 5Ks. Now 5Ks only go so far when you get old and fat, you got to do it in a 10 miler. It's the only way to stay up and keep up with the uh, need for uh, <laughs> restoring yourself. <laughs> too much fat and too much in exercise. It produces all kinds of diseases, just about every common disease. I don't want to get too diseased with fat, so I stopped myself before I got critically ill, you know, and I got to a point where I was getting a lot of aches and pains by not having exercise in my diet every day, cut back on the food and I feel so much better, I'm 60 pounds overweight, you know, I can't tell you how much better I feel every day just by being on a diet of exercise and cutting my food back so glad people let me if I have to power walk at one o'clock in the morning or so you know this is the only time a lot of people have um, I check my blood pressure on the weekends when I go out power walking and my blood pressure came down a lot about 30 points just doing the 10 milers every day every week then 70 miles of walking every week. Easy, casual, fun miles. Yeah. The blood, blood glucose came down. To, well, it's hardly even diabetic at all now. I have to, I think I still have to lose 10 pounds or 15 pounds. Yeah, not sick at all right now. I really felt sick as a dog with all that extra weight on. My boy here is doing the right thing, walking the creeks here, getting his dog miles in. So I'm just obliging him since that's what I've been doing. And I hope you all have a good time out there. Uh, the heat wave's over. Maybe we'll get a few more heat waves. I don't know. So far, heat wave's over. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.